Hello and welcome to our video in our family engagement video library called Preparing for Parent-Teacher Conferences. In today's video, we'll explore the purpose and goals of parent-teacher conferences. We'll also talk about what to expect in a parent-teacher conference, strategies to prepare in advance, and practices for ongoing two-way communication. To get started, let's learn a little bit more about what exactly is a parent conference. Well, this is a meeting between a support, supporting adult, which can be a parent or a guardian of a student, and a classroom teacher to discuss the student's progress in school. The progress consists of both academic and social growth. And this is measured based on the grade level standards that the student is in, based on classrooms, uh, classroom expectations. And the parent conference typically will last about 20 minutes long. For elementary school, the fall conferences are held at the end of the first trimester, which falls in the month of November. And then spring conferences are held in the beginning of the third trimester, which is uh, in the month of March. Uh, for middle school and high school students, there is no set date for parent-teacher conferences, but we do encourage families to actively monitor their students' progress and continue to partner with the teachers to support their student. And we'll be discussing some ways in which uh, to support doing that. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the goals of parent-teacher conferences. So first and foremost, our main goal always is to continue with relationship building. Parents and teachers should be partners in helping support students. Additionally, in the fall conferences coming up, the first trimester report card will be discussed. In the spring conferences for elementary, progress throughout the year will continue to be focused on and discussed. Another goal of parent-teacher conferences is the sharing the two-way exchange of information. Just as much as parents are there to hear about their students and the ways in which they are succeeding both inside the classroom and outside of the classroom, it's also important for parents to share with teachers the ways in which their students are succeeding both outside of the classroom, at home, and any concerns or questions that they might be having. During a parent-teacher conference, goal setting is also important taking time to review what students are learning, what areas of strengths they have, and what areas of opportunities they have to grow. Setting goals for that, both with the teacher, the parent, and the student, will be crucial to ensuring student success for the remainder of the year. Additionally, problem solving. There might be problems that the student is encountering at school or at home, perhaps in the community or in other activities. Parent-teacher conference time is the perfect opportunity to be able to share that information and discuss those challenges and brainstorm some solutions together. Additionally, during parent-teacher conference, coaching is also something that might be discussed. This is an opportunity to provide parents and guardians specific tools to help continue and support that learning at home. And lastly, during a parent-teacher conference, the sharing of information about state and district standards, as well as classroom expectations, will also be discussed. So now that you know a little bit more about what a parent-teacher conference is and the goals of this conference, you might be wondering, what are some of the specific topics that will be discussed? What will the, my child's teacher and I talk about? So. School conferences typically include topics such as report cards and progress reports, spending time together reviewing uh, your child's progress uh, based on the score that they received, um, also results of their assessments that, may, that they may have taken in class, or a review of specific class assignments. Uh, there may also be a discussion about homework and a check-in to determine um, the students' homework habits, um, some of the ways that 
you know, the student uh, works with the parent and guardian to uh, support doing homework. Um, and then also spending some time to talk about your child's individual student strengths uh, and discuss any areas of improvement or areas that might be of concern. Uh, there will also be opportunity of examples of student work uh, that families can see uh, to gain a better idea of the topics, the subjects, and things that students are learning in class. Um, this is also an opportunity to discuss and come up with the shared game, game plan and partnership for things like discipline concerns, uh, discussing some supports or resources that students might need, whether that's in the classroom or outside of the classroom, uh, discussing goal setting and talking about what are some uh, what's ahead, what are some of the things that students will be learning, or what will be some of the focus um, in your students' learning for the coming months, um, and then some time to discuss and address some questions, concerns, uh, and come up with a plan for that ongoing communication and partnership. Uh, while planning for parent-teacher conferences, uh, your child's individual strengths and their individual um, performance or experience in the classroom are all taken into consideration in you know, what topics um, and these different topics, how they will be um, brought up during the parent-teacher conference. A great resource to check out prior to attending your parent-teacher conference is our San Juan Unified School District's handbook. You can find that handbook at www.sanjuan.edu forward slash handbook. Once you're there, you'll be able to visit the webpage to learn information about state and district academic standards, our student progress reporting, progress and report cards, high school graduation requirements, and more. We encourage you to make sure to visit that to learn more about some of the topics that would be discussed during parent-teacher conferences. Yes, and some important additional strategies to help prepare for parent-teacher teacher conferences. So first and foremost, when you receive the communication from your child's teacher, whether it's in writing, text message, phone call, um, email, uh, to invite you to come in for the parent-teacher conference, it's important to save the date on your calendar, set a reminder, and just be ready and available for the conference. This is important because teachers will have many conference scheduled during that week. And typically the schedule of the conference is um, kind of uh, very tight. So uh, it's important to save the date and be available. Uh, also, check in with your student, talk with your child about how they feel about their class, about their school um, in the first couple months of the school year, and ask them if there's anything that they would want you to talk with their teacher about, if they have any questions or concerns or worries. Uh, it's important to get your child's input and for your child to know that you'll be meeting with their teacher to discuss their progress in ways that they can be supported. Um, also, ask your child about what's going well. What uh, do they enjoy the most about school? Um, make a list of topics that you want to prioritize talking about with the teacher. Remember that time is limited and, um, you know, teachers have, uh, they want to update you on your child's progress. Uh, but it's also important that if you have topics that you would like to discuss, um, that you bring that up to the teacher so that uh, you can prepare to set some time during the conference for that. Uh, one thing to help with that is by preparing a list of specific questions related to the topics that you want to discuss. For example, some common questions might include things like, what are my child's strengths and areas of improvement? This can help you learn uh, ways that you can maybe support students learning at home. Does my child turn in homework on time? Does my child participate in class? What are some things that my child can do to improve academically? Uh, these are just a few examples, uh, but really it's important to ask questions related to academics or social emotional wellness or questions about communication. Um, really, it, you know, you want to come up with questions that will help you and your students. 
it's also important to develop your plan. So prior to attending the parent-teacher conference, review your child's current work and comments from any past report cards you might have. Parent Portal can also be a great resource to review grades, attendance, behavior, and more. We will be going over a slide for you about Parent Portal and the opportunities that it provides for more resources. Additionally, set some goals for the conference. Think about what it is that you want answered, think about questions you might have, and think about anticipated supports you might want to request. Have those questions written down ahead of time and be prepared with the information for the teacher about your child. During the conference, it's important to keep in mind these following tips and strategies. Make sure to arrive early and be on time for the meeting, especially if you um, need to assistance locating the classroom. Also, introduce yourself to the teacher if you haven't met or spoken to them yet. Let the teacher know at the beginning of the conference if you have any questions or those specific topics that you would like to talk about. Ask about your child's progress. Make sure you ask for explanations or details if there's anything you need to clarify. You can also ask about ways that you can support learning at home, including any educational tools or resources that might be able to assist you with this. Another important strategy is to learn about ways that the teacher shares updates or communicates with parents about a child's academic progress. For example, you can inquire about uh, utilizing the two-way communication app called Talking Points, or does the teacher send newsletters, parent guardian folders? It's important to stay updated about ways that you can continue to monitor your child's progress beyond the parent-teacher conference. All right, so we've talked about what to do before the conference, and during the conference, and now we're gonna focus on what to do after the conference. It's important after the conference to talk with your child about the conference. Let them know that you attended and you met with the teacher and that you both really value and appreciate the student and wanna to partner together to help ensure the student's success. Highlight the positive points of the conference. What were the strengths that were shared? Help your student find value in the work that they're doing in class. Be direct and supportive about any areas of improvement. Tell your child about any plans or supports that you and the teacher discussed. Involve your child in talking about ways that they feel, things that might be helpful to help support their learning. Stay in touch with the teacher after the conference. This will help you stay updated about the student's progress, sharing things that are working and that might not be working, to help stay in partnership. And lastly, talk about the resources that are available for you, such as Parent Portal, online tutoring, educational learning apps, and more. Other general tips. Remember that you and the teacher both want the very best for your child. Working as a team is the best way to support your students. Parents and guardians know their child very well. You are your child's first teacher and you're the expert on your child. If you have any tips or advice about your student that you could share with the teacher, such as what your child's favorite activities are, ways to encourage or provide positive support, any events that may affect your child, the best learning style or strategies to help support your child. These are all really important things to share with the teacher. You also have the right to request an interpreter. Contact the school office to make the request and try to give at least a two week notice so that the school can work to get a translator there to help support you during the conference. In this next section, we'll discuss a couple of tools to help you continue to monitor your students' progress after the conference. 
One great tool is the Parent Portal, which is our online platform for parents to be uh, to have access to stay updated with their child's progress, attendance, behavior. And within the Parent Portal, you can view things like assignments, class schedules, and also access the teacher's email um, should you need to contact them with any questions or for assistance. The way to access the Parent Portal is by going to www.sanjuan.edu slash parents and locating the box uh, for Parent Portal. You can also uh, visit the bottom of any San Juan Unified School website uh, and access a link to Parent Portal that way. Another great resource is our fantastic Sacramento Public Library. Through our partnership with Sacramento Public Library, students are able to access many free programs and supports, including a free online homework help and tutoring programs that are offered at no cost. Thank you to the Sacramento Public Library. Students can also access a library of online learning materials, books, videos, and other resources and supports to help their learning. You can visit the Sacramento Public Library at www.saclibrary.org to learn more. Another great resource is the student educational apps that are available in their student portal. Some of these applications include iReady, Clever, and Amplify. These are great and easy to access educational applications where students can practice things such as math, literacy, science, and play educationally uh, related games. And this is a great for, a way for them to continue to practice their learning, uh, to access a positive and safe platform online, uh, and to be able to practice uh, different uh, in different ways outside of the classroom as well. Another great resource is to check in with your school site um, to see if they have any tutoring supports, any before or after school clubs, um, any lunch clubs. These are all ways uh, where students can um, feel more supported and engaged with their school. And also uh, for any new students, this is a great way for them to uh, meet new peers and build connections and friends. So check in with your school site as well. And then lastly, the district has a web page which you can access by visiting www.sanjuan.edu slash parents. And this is a page where you can access quick links for common district and community information for parents and guardians. So some of the things that you can find on this uh, web page is access to ongoing family education workshops and classes, copies of the school year calendar, access to the family handbook for district information and policies, mental health supports for students and families, community resources, and much more. All right, we hope that you were able to learn some valuable tips and tools to help support you in the upcoming parent-teacher conferences. As always, you can reach out to our family and community engagement team at the contact information located here on your screen. We also would encourage you to continue looking at our family engagement video library series, where we'll continue to upload helpful videos such as this to guide your continued family engagement and support of your student. So thank you again for joining us today. We wish you all a happy parent-teacher conference time. Thank you.